what you'll need. Large seeds, beans or peas work best. A clear plastic or glass cup. Paper towel. And a spray bottle. Getting started. First we're going to take a length of paper towel and fold it to fit into the cup. First I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise and compare it to the size of the cup. As you can see it's a little bit too tall so I'm just going to fold it to fit. Now to make it a little bit thicker I'm going to fold it in half again and then wrap it around my hand. Next gently slide this into the cup so that it reaches straight down to the bottom. Next, take some more paper towel and wad it into a ball. This is going to go down into the middle of the cup, up against the walls that you just created. You'll want it to be a pretty snug fit. Now you're going to want to wet the paper towel. It all has to get wet. Don't be afraid to push back some of the paper towel to get the sides. When you're finished, you shouldn't see any standing water on the bottom of the cup. To check, Try tipping it upside down and see if anything dribbles out. Now it's time to put the seeds into the cup. You'll sandwich the seeds between the wall of paper towel and the side of the cup. This makes it a lot easier to see how things are growing. You'll want to evenly space them out along the sides. Now I'm just going to add a little piece of tape that says the type of seed I'm growing and the date that I started it. This makes it easy to know how long it takes for things to grow and what it is that's growing. Next you'll just want to put the cup into a place that won't easily be disturbed. Six days later. So now you can easily see that the seeds have begun to grow or germinate. There's a small root and a small shoot. Thirteen days later. So now you can see that the shoot and root systems have gotten much larger. Now would be a great time to transplant the seedlings into soil. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.